This week we've been learning all about the ocean, what lives in the ocean, what you can do if you are visiting the beach that's near an ocean, and I wanted to share a new book with you. I think if you've been watching any of our videos, you know how much I love to count. This book is called Touch and Feel 1, 2, 3, and this book has on the cover some fish that you might see in the ocean. Now, not everything in the story um, has items in it that you can see from uh, the ocean or that live in the ocean. And this is actually a good time to kind of talk about, is it an ocean item or is it not an ocean item? And that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna read the story once and then we're gonna flip through and kind of identify an ocean or not an ocean creature. Okay, so let's get started. One firefighter, there he is. Two scaly fish, one, two. Three ballerinas, one, two, three, four rough sand castles. Can you connect? Can you hear that? It's very rough. One, two, three, four. Five paintbrushes. Are you ready? You guys know what we're going to do, right? We're going to count. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Do you see this on the next page? Those are six bumpy starfish. You got it. Let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven seashells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that next page. Eight slippery snakes. Let's get ready to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is definitely slippery feeling. Nine cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which car is your favorite? Hmm, so many to choose from. I think I'm gonna have to say the purple one in the middle. The purple color is pretty cool. All right, our last page. 10 sticky cherries. My finger is sticking to the page. Oh my goodness. All right, ready to count 10 sticky cherries? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, all right, nice job. So let's go back. Some of these items that we counted, we could find in the ocean. They live in the ocean or they're near an ocean, and some are not. So give me a thumbs up if it is something that lives in the ocean or a thumbs down if it's something that's not. Are you ready? Does a firefighter live in an ocean? Nope. Firefighters don't live in oceans. Do fish live in an ocean? Yes, that's right. Fish can't live in the ocean. They live in lakes and streams too, but fish definitely can live in the ocean. What about ballerinas? Do ballerinas live in the ocean? I don't think so. What about sandcastles? Can you build a sandcastle next to an ocean? Nice job. Hopefully you did thumbs down for the ballerina because they don't live there. But thumbs up for the sandcastle. What about paintbrushes? Do paintbrushes live in the ocean? No, maybe accidentally someone threw one away and it ended up in the ocean, but we really don't want paintbrushes in the ocean. That's a down. Nope, they don't belong in the ocean. And what about starfish? Thumbs up or thumbs down? That's right, thumbs up. Starfish live in the ocean. What about seashells? Can you find seashells in the ocean? That's right, thumbs up. And what about snakes? Oh my goodness, this is a tough one. Well, 
I think that there are some snakes that can live in the ocean, so I'm going to put thumbs up. And there are some snakes that don't live in the ocean, so because some do, we're going to go thumbs up. Some can live there, but not very many. What about cars? Do cars live in the ocean? No, they're in parking lots and driveways, so thumbs down. And what about some sticky cherries? Do you find sticky cherries in the ocean? Nope. You might find sticky cherries at the grocery store. You might find them at home in your kitchen. Or maybe you'll find them at a restaurant. That's right. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to find some other activities or some other read-alouds that have to do with oceans, please check out our activity page. There are lots of fun things for you to do and to see and explore there. Until next time, bye-bye.